All right, so we are jumping into um, our final assignments for uh, the project. Um, so just like in Mrs. Othout's class, when you guys are doing different assignments um, that go along with uh, your poems and mentor text, all that kind of stuff, we're going to do the same thing. Um, so what you're going to see is you're going to go into the reading and writing explorers um, course here and you'll click on your assignments. When you're in your assignments, you'll click on that final assignments for project. And inside here, you're going to see writing and reading. My stuff's obviously going to be into the reading. So when you click on this, there are three separate assignments. Um, and essentially what you're doing is you are going over those same um, learning objectives that we did before um, with authors, purpose, point of view, and perspective, and then comparing those. Um, and so you're going to see, and I'm going to show you each one um, as to what you are doing um, with them. So comparing poems. So it looks like this. And so when you are in it, you're going to see what you're going to have to include in here. So essentially, you're doing the same thing that we did with our assignment that we did before um, with comparing purpose, point of view, and perspective. Um, and so what you're going to do for poems is you're going to uh, use a found poem, which is in your collection space. So make sure you go back to um, School of your Assignments collection space. You're going to choose one of those poems. And what you're going to do is you're going to copy and paste those words so then I can read them here. Okay, then you're also going to find a poem that you created. This will be one of the poems that you um, did with Mrs. Othout. You have three that, that are rough draft. Um, you can choose one of them. I don't care which one you choose. Um, but you're going to copy and paste those words here. And then what you're going to do is you're going to put the purpose for both of these. You're going to do the point of view for both of them and the perspective for both of them. And then at the end here, you're going to compare them. You're going to say how they are like and how they are different. You need to make sure that you have at least two full lines. Um, I want you to think about the viewpoint, the format, the style, the evidence, the purpose, um, the top, the tone. Um, so think about those things in order to tell me what is the similarities and the differences between the two. Okay. This is exactly what we did with the different articles with scope. So if you need to go back to that assignment and kind of see what we did there, you are more than welcome to use that. Okay. Um, all this stuff outside of that will be done on your own because these are uh, worth quite a few points. Um, this is going to be worth 20 altogether. The assignment's worth 10. And then underneath, you have reflections. Um, so here's the questions. You're going to make sure that you answer them. There's different things for you to think about um, to kind of help you with your response. Um, each of your responses for the, this should be three full lines. Um, and then when you are done, you are going to eventually print it, and you're going to turn it into me. I know that you're at home right now, but... Um, just know that when you are in class and one is done, you're going to print it and you're going to turn it into me. So then that way I can get you a grade. Okay, so that's your first assignment is you are comparing poems, one that you found versus one that you created. All right. Um, the second one is comparing essays. So I'm going to open up this one. Again, it looks exactly the same. It's just you're doing two separate things. Um, so right here, you're going to choose the mentor text. With Mrs. Othout, you had to choose a mentor text to kind of use to help you create your own essay. So that's what I'm talking about here. Um, you're going to just tell me the title and the title only because I have my own sandbox. You do not have to type the mentor text here. Um, just put the title of the mentor text that you used. And then again, you're going to fill out the um, purpose point of view and perspective. Then you're going to put your own created essay here. Um, it does not have to be the um, final draft. A rough draft is okay because you are the author. So if you just... Um, copy and paste your rough draft, that's fine. If it's really, really long, you just copy and paste part of it. Okay, so it's super long, just copy and paste part of it. Because um, again, you're the author, you know the purpose, you know the point of view, you know the perspective. So you're going to answer those questions here. Then the next one, again, you're going to compare them. How are they alike and different? That should be at least two full lines. Um, that will go here. Again, you're looking at that viewpoint, format, style, evidence, purpose, put off, tone, all of that. Okay. All right. Then when you are done, you're going to do the reflections again. So again, I'll have two separate um, questions for your reflection. There's things for you to think about that are going to help you. And you're going to delete the words here and type your response. These, again, should be three full lines of typed. And then uh, when you are done, you're going to print it and you're turn it to me. Okay, so that's your second assignment. Um, the last assignment, which is your final one, is the comparing mentor text. This one might be the easiest. And the only reason why um, is because you're not going to have to copy and paste anything here because I already gave you the mentor text. Um, this one might be, um, I already said that, sorry. Uh, this looks very similar to um, the other assignments, but again, I just made them all look exactly the same. It's just you're doing separate things on them. 
So these are going to be in your sandbox. Use the information that you already have in your sandbox. Go back and look at them. Um, but this one, again, is going to be over deer basketball. You're going to tell me the purpose, point of view, perspective. Then you're also going to look at the one, it's so hard to say goodbye. That's the one about soccer. Again, you're going to put the purpose, point of view, perspective. And then you're going to compare. You're going to say how they are alike and different um, down here. You're going to make sure that you have at least two full lines. Again, thinking about those things is going to help you to create those two full lines. Okay. And then again, you have reflections. You have two different ones. You're going to answer those questions. Um, use what I'm telling you to think about to help you. Um, and then you're going to have three full lines on here. Okay, three full lines. And then when you are done, you're going to print it and you're going to turn it into me. So you have three separate assignments. None of them are due today. Um, these are going to be due on the 9th and 10th of May. That's our hope. Um, same as Mrs. Othout's. So you're just going to have a lot of work time. Um, a lot of kids today, they were able to almost complete one. Um, I only had a few kids who were actually able to turn in one of these assignments. So if you don't get done with one today, do not stress. You're going to have all next week and Monday and Tuesday of the following week to get them done. So then that way you'll be 100% done. You'll have lots of time. And then that's kind of all we had today. All right. So again, in order to find these, you're going to go to Explorer's Reading Writing Course. You're going to go to your assignments, go to final assignments for project and click on the reading folder. That's where you'll find all three of them. All right. That's all I have for you. I'll see you later.